Rooms to go. Now is the best time to save on a new mattress during Mattress Month at Rooms to go. The Bell Center in Montreal, Tampa Bay, and the Canadiens meeting for the first time since last year's Stanley Cup final. We greet you once again from our Rooms to go lounge. Dave Anderchuk, Paul Kennedy. You don't think of Pat Maroon as a goal scorer. He has the one this evening. He also scored in the Stanley Cup final. Mm -hmm. He's had his moments offensively. <laughs> in Edmonton, he was actually scored 27 goals in, in a year there. So, uh, yes, he's got good hands, and you can see on that play, he, he finished off the mistake by the Canadians. Quite a jewelry box. He's won a Stanley Cup championship ring in each of the last three seasons. One he shared with Jake Allen back in 2019. He scores against Jake this evening, who's, of course, in net for the Canadiens. Two our Advent Health highlights, and it's Andre Vasilevsky early who uh, keeps Montreal off the board. Yeah, Montreal came out flying. Uh, the chances, the puck possession they had in the zone. You know, I don't think there were great chances that the Lightning gave up, but they did have the puck in the, in the offensive zone quite a bit, and Vassy had to come up with some saves here. This is Romanov from the point. One of his nine saves that he had in the period. And then this is the goal. That, that's Jan Ruda. He's forechecking there. He dumps it in to himself. So what has to happen is the forward has to back up that defenseman, and it's Corey Perry. He throws it around the boards, and then Belmar tries to oh my. control it. And unfortunate, Kale Clegg here, he throws, tries to throw it up the boards, goes right off the heel of his stick. And Pat Maroon makes no mistake there. Just claimed off of waivers from the L.A. Kings. That's his debut. Yeah, right? unfortunate for him. First period. And, and Maroon makes no mistake. I think it kind of fooled Jake Allen a little bit. He wasn't expecting it. Didn't have his pad down. And Maroon's got his sixth of the year. It's amazing how a goal like this can tilt the ice the other way. And the four of the first five shots on the night belong to Montreal. And then they started to come on, not just when this goal, but just before that. Uh, the, 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 the lightning definitely came on in that period and took the play to the Montreal Canadiens after a quick Montreal start. Uh, five months ago tonight, on July 7th, in Amelie Arena, Tampa Bay closed out its series with the Montreal Canadiens. They won the uh, best of seven in five. The first three belonged to the Bulls with some <laughs> highlight moments before the captain and Stammer looked at the chalice. Yeah, when they win this series 4-1, Vasilevsky bass stops them, played every game and every minute of these playoffs in the finals there. He lost that one game in Montreal, but then had a shutout in game seven. This is game two. That's Blake Coleman with two seconds to go in the second period. Maybe the turning point in the series. What a goal that is. Barkley is he, Goodrow with yeah. the feed. He dives out, and then in game five, it's David Savard finding Colton early in that game, which ends up being the game winner. As I said, Vasilevsky shuts the door, and the, and the Tampa Bay Lightning go on to win back-to-back -back championships. A nod to Julian Brisebois, too, for acquiring Savard from the Columbus Blue Jackets at the trade deadline. What a boost he was to the back end. And you have that moment, 17-8. to eight. They outscored the Habs. Nearly two to one. Carey Price was in goal for every game for Montreal in that series. Yeah, Carey Price could not, you know, control the, you know, obviously what a run for the Montreal Canadiens. Went through the Toronto Maple Leafs down 3-1, ended up in the in the fine conference final, beating the Vegas Golden Knights to advance to the Stanley Cup finals, but came up short. David Savardo had quite the playoff beard. Today gets the championship ring from Julian Breezeball. This was at the Bell Center after the two teams' morning skate. He's in the Lightning Room, or in a, joined by the Lightning players. And a bright smile on his face wow. with their former teammate. That's quite a ring, yeah, is it not? That, that is so cool for him. And, you know, Julian to go on that trip uh, just because of giving his the ring to David Savard and then being there with your teammates. Nice little moment for David Savard. He did add something to their playoff push for them to put him over the top to win the cup. And he certainly did. He had the uh, number one assist on the uh, cup clinching goal by Ross Colton. Just ahead, we'll take you back.